At CrossFit Lincoln, our passion is positively impacting and changing lives by creating a strong, brave, healthy community through education. We talk about nutrition, fitness, mindset, and more. From the Roro Flick studio, it's Aaron Perky Pyle, Bill Kniep, and Paul Konarski. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us for CrossFit Lincoln Connections. I'm here with Coach Emily, our Director of Nutrition at CrossFit Lincoln, and we are at the Bay in Lincoln, Nebraska. Roro Flix is uh, one of the presenters or one of the, the vendors, I guess, at the Find Your Grind Career Fair hosted by the Bay. Pretty excited to be here. Ronnie's got a pretty sweet setup uh, going right now, and we're recording live in front of literally two people right now. <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. Uh, you might hear people come in and out and you get kind of loud because they have uh, high school students coming through to learn more about different careers that are available. So, yeah, it's really awesome to be a part of this event. Uh, but, Emily, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, kind of uh, in the fitness space, it can be really intimidating to start in a fitness space. So whether it's starting a new gym or you look at yourself in the mirror and you think, man, I, I think I need to get fit, so maybe I'm going to start being a runner or a biker and walking into a space that sells running clothes or a sporting goods store. It can be really intimidating to walk in and not feel like I'm being judged by everybody around, right? And there's, there's some gyms out there that, you know, talk about a judgment-free zone or these types of things. Um, how, how can we approach fitness uh, if if it's been a long, a really long time since I've done anything active, or maybe I've never done anything active, uh, what kind of steps can I take to hopefully get over some of that that fear at the beginning to get started? Yeah, the first step you can do is just walk in the door and talk to one of us as a coach. Um, we're not going to judge you. We our job is to help you. We're there for you. So that first step is just coming in and talking to us, and then from there we can work on the other little steps that you might be able to take. Um, have you ever walked in a gym and felt judged? A gym. It doesn't have to be our gym, like any, any gym. Yeah, I, I mean, I have felt judged by other people, but most of all, I think I just judged myself because I didn't look like everybody else around. Sure. Um, there's been a lot of conversation about fat shaming, and uh, there's people, there seem to be people on the Internet who find it to be their job to point at different people on the Internet and say you're fat, you aren't living up to the standard in my own eyes. Uh, how can we kind of approach that in, uh, in a social media world and just even in our, in our local environment? Well, first of all, I don't think anyone should be shamed for anything. So stop shaming people. <laughs> you, can, you can start there. Um, and also as like you look at other people, you know, if you judge them on the way that they look, and guarantee you that they judge themselves just as bad, maybe probably worse. So they don't need your help judging them. Um, they actually need your help encouraging them to be better, um, not better people, uh, to live healthier lives and, and to be happier. That's what they need from you. So how do I get over, like if someone's trying to help me, like if a coach comes over and is trying to help me, and maybe it's how I move, and maybe it's how I eat, um, how can, I, how can I get over that sometimes feeling like maybe I'm being judged? You know what I'm talking about? Like sometimes even just someone helping you feels like maybe they're judging me. Yeah, that's a tough one because that's sort of an interpersonal thing that you have to work on. Um, I just know that at CrossFit Lincoln, we're all we're there to help you. You know, like that's, that's the whole reason. And if you are feeling judged, like have that conversation with us. Like... If you feel like we're, I don't know, I'm just saying you're not good at rope climbs or something, um, you know, like maybe we, maybe I worded it incorrectly and I didn't mean that that way. So just have that conversation with us. We're open, open communication. So. Okay. I think it's difficult from a from a coaching perspective sometimes to know how far to push somebody, and. Um, you know, my, uh, I have family members that work in medicine, and they talk about some of the hard conversations they have to have with people uh, on a consistent basis. And maybe it's, hey, you need to change what you're eating or drinking because otherwise you're going to lose a limb or you're going to die. Um, and it's a real possibility that if they don't make a lifestyle change that they're going to 
it's, it's going to end in their death, right? And some people might say, well, I'm going to die anyway. Why can't I just eat all the ice cream I want or you know, drink all the booze that I want or you know, yeah. insert, insert thing that's killing them here. Um, so what can, what can we do um, from a coaching perspective or as a, as a friend perspective to just support people where they're starting and encourage them to also be the best version of themselves? Yeah, that was really loaded um, a few <laughs> sentences there. Nice work. Um, yeah, so first, as a coach, you can just set a good example. Um, if you want to help people, uh, you first help yourself and get yourself to a good place. Um, whether it's nutritionally, physically, emotionally, mentally, all that stuff. And then when you talk to the athlete, you're encouraging all the little things that they're doing right and understanding that you know they might be eating a whole pizza when they go home but they're here now they're at the gym and you're encouraging each and every little win that they have and that's going to keep them coming back is that little voice of yours in their head telling them how, what a good job they're doing I think it's really I, I don't judge people when they where, the, where they start at all right I'm always excited when someone comes in and says I'm ready to make a change um, nutritionally or I'm ready to make a change in my fitness because uh, I know that I need to be somewhere else uh, I think what the the emotion that I experience the most is disappointment when someone sees our website or someone comes and visits the gym and maybe sees some of the athletes that have been in CrossFit Lincoln for years like actual years working out and, and working on their nutrition and saying there's no possible way that I could ever look like that. I'm, I'm just embarrassed to even be in the same space as them. And I think that that, that leaves me disappointed uh, for the missed opportunity, not a disappointment in that athlete, not a disappointment in the athletes that have been in the gym that or the potential athlete or the athletes that have been in the gym. Um, I'm just disappointed that somehow we missed the opportunity to help them get better. I think there's a, there's a gentleman who's been emailing me on and off for about six to eight weeks. And it's talk, like a little relationship right there. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, and it's texting or it's been, I haven't met him in person. Yeah. Uh, he talked about coming in. He'd even scheduled an appointment to come in and then canceled last minute. And his fear was, you know, he looked at the website and said, I, it looks like I'm not fit enough to even come and give this a shot. And so if you're out there, I'm not saying your name, but if you're out there and, and you look at a gym or you look at a space and you think there's no possible way that I could look like that, we, we might not, that might not be our goal. Our goal is for you to come in and find a place that supports you in getting to be a better version of yourself. And that could be uh, healthier eating, that could be developing a, a habit of being active, um, it could be just finding emotional support in the community of CrossFit Lincoln or uh, any, any place, right? Yeah. Um, what, what would you say would be more important, nutrition or working out every day, if you had to pick one? Because it can be expensive, right? Yeah. We offer nutrition coaching and we offer fitness packaging. Those you know, it can be cost prohibitive. Which would you say someone should focus on first? Yeah, I would definitely say focus on your nutrition first. Um, if you eat, you know, well, and you just go for like a 10 minute walk a day, like your life's going to be pretty great. You know, um, the people that go into the gym, they want like a little bit more of that physical aspect or that community aspect. Um, but as far as like, if you just want to live a healthy life, start with your food. How, I don't know how many hours I, I spend a day eating, but I spend a whole <laughs> heck of a lot of time thinking about eating yeah. throughout the day. Yeah. So I would say that food dominates my, my mind way more than fitness ever has. Yeah. I mean, that's just from the day I was born till now. <laughs> right? You, when, you're, when you're a baby, you don't think about, oh, we got to get a workout in, Mom. <laughs> you think about, I'm hungry. It's time to eat. Yeah, exactly. Right? Um, let's say that even uh, a nutrition type of coaching uh, is cost prohibitive. Give me three to five steps that someone could take right now that would change their nutrition and make a positive impact right away three to five okay first thing uh, i drink more water so put down the maybe the sugary drinks <laughs> that you're drinking uh drink more water 
Um, and then the second thing is incorporating more vegetables into your diet. Um, how, mu- how many vegetables should I eat? Is a couple m- baby carrots okay? As many as you possibly can. <laughs> okay. Um, we try to say about whatever the size of your plate is, about half your plate being vegetables um, or more. Are awesome. french fries vegetables? No. Come on. Okay. <laughs> I don't even think that's a food. <laughs> it's not in any food pyramid that I know of. Okay. <laughs> um, so it's two. And then limit. I don't want to say get rid of because I eat ice cream. I'll throw that out there. But limit your intake of processed sugars. Um, if you can do those three things, I mean, you're probably going to be all right. Okay. Uh, if you had two, two more, what would you say for the last two? I made you think for three. Um, yeah, I would say don't. I don't want to say it, don't eat until you get sick, but like limit your portion sizes so you're only eating what you need. Um, a lot of us just mindlessly eat, and then 10 minutes later, you're like, oh my gosh, my stomach, you know. Um, I would slow down eating, and then when you finish maybe a plate, wait 20 minutes, see if you're actually still hungry That's a to long go time. get more. Yeah, you gotta set a timer too, because <laughs> you're like, I think I'm ready, and it's not. But um, so, talking a little bit about portion control. So the whole day shouldn't be a buffet, is what you're saying? Yeah. How long should I wait in between eating, do you think? Like, let's say I ate my full meal. I eat breakfast. How long should I wait till I eat again? Everyone, I mean, everyone's different. Okay. Like, their activity levels and their metabolism and all that's different. So I'm not going to put a time on it. I would say eat when you're hungry, when you're actually hungry and not bored. So. Sure. Is there anything that you'd want to say to somebody who maybe is feeling uh, less than positive about themselves from a from a weight perspective or body image perspective man there's so many things that i would like to say to them um i would say that you're amazing and you're beautiful and that you can do anything you put your mind to and i would say find a a friend or a partner or a community that also thinks those things about you because some days you might not think it about yourself so surrounding yourself with a community that can help you, help remind you of those things is important. Sure. Um, I think what I would say is it took you X number of days, months, and years to get where you are right now. And if I had a magic pill to give you that tomorrow you'd wake up and it wasn't that way, that you weren't where you were at, I would do that. But no one has invented that yet. Yeah. Um, and so give yourself some grace and just start today. You know, win, win this moment win the next moment but don't worry about the next moment until you've won this one yeah. and then when you when you don't win when you have a quote loss it doesn't mean you lost the the war you just lost one little battle so keep keep plugging away on kind of that journey and that process and uh yeah we we love people at crossfit lincoln um one of our one of our core values or kind of part of our mission is to build a strong brave healthy community through education and so come be a part of that strong community and that brave community. It, t- it takes a lot of courage to even show up and admit, hey, I, I need some help and I'm willing to have that help. So that's what we're here for, to kind of help be a guide in that process. So anything else you want to say? Oh, man, I think we said a lot just there, yeah. which is awesome. So thanks. Yeah. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, we're excited about the journey that each of you is on. We'd love to be a part of that. If you'd like to learn more about how maybe we could partner with you on your fitness journey and nutrition journey, uh, reach out to us at info at CrossFitLincoln.com. Uh, you can reach out to Emily directly at nutrition at CrossFitLincoln.com. Or if you want to schedule something in person, check out the, uh, the website CrossFitLincoln.as.me forward slash no sweat intro. And you can schedule a 30 minute time to sit down with one of the coaches and kind of find out where you're at and how we can partner with you. Thanks again to Ronnie and Roro Flix for hosting us here at the Find Your Grind Career Fair. Excited to be a part of that. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, Aaron.